In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make four hanging options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added four cutouts here. And from here, the option comes. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here the first option or the first step comes and you can add your title here. You can add some detailed text along with the icons. And then I've added some shadow effect here. And here I've given a 3D effect for this oval shape. So when I click with a different color combination, it comes the second step, then the third step and fourth step. I have created two slides, one with animation, second one without animation. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide from. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i'm i've used 2019 version to make this particular uh, slide so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to light gray background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes, I'm going to select the circle hollow, draw the circle by holding the shift key, you can see here. So depending on your requirement, either you can increase or decrease the size, then align center, align middle, and then you can see here the small orange point with this, I can increase or decrease the width. So depending on again, your requirement, you can set the width, maybe I'm going to select this much size shape outline make it no outline then what i'm going to do is from one side i'm just going to cut this so for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here only at one side maybe you can give uh, some different color so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do so the area which is I have selected that have to I have to delete that one. So first I'm going to select the circle, hold the shift key, select the rectangle, go to merge shape. You can see here I can subtract it. So I end up getting a shape something like this. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add one rectangle. Okay, at the bottom. So go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here maybe somewhat down i'll do it shape outline make it no outline you can see here it looks something like this and then i'm going to add one more shape which is the you can see here the evron the shadow evron okay and then what i'm going to do is shape outline make it no outline and rotate i can rotate right 90 degrees and again, depending on your requirement, either you can increase the size or decrease the width, whatever. So I'm just going to make it like this. You can see here. So the shape looks something like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more uh, circle uh, in the center for that. Go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape. Maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i can give maybe a white color or light gray color again align center align middle then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a 3d effect for this so right mouse click go to format shape and you can see here the effects go to 3d format from the top bevel i'm going to choose maybe this one which is the angle you can see here and the height and width you can increase it depending on your requirement you can see here i can make it maybe this much size maybe eight all right and then i'm going to give a shadow effect for this so go to the shadow presets i'm going to select the offset bottom right and increase the distance you can see here i can increase the distance and if you want you can just make it somewhat blur also so you end up getting a shape something like this so let me just go to view, remove the guides. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all and then I'm just moving it here at the top. You can see here something like this. And this three one, you can see here this shape, hold the shift key, this one. 
okay these two shapes only sorry so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this as one so you can go to the format shape and merge shape you can just make it union so it becomes one shape something like this sorry i have to select this three one this and this and union it you can see here it becomes one shape like this okay now what i'm going to do is the top part is ready now let's add the bottom part now let me just go to insert shapes and from the rectangles i'm going to select this one rectangles top corner rounded so again depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size you can see here so you can see the two orange point the bottom orange point i'm just going to drag it inside so it becomes a curved shape something like this and the top one i'm going to make it flat so just drag this outside okay now just select all and i'm let me just move it somewhat up okay because i need to have a room to add one more shape at the bottom so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make it something like this here shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill i can just select a white color or any other color of your choice you can do it now what you need to do is i'm just going to add one more shape at the top so go to insert shapes i can select you can see here the triangle draw the triangle all right let me just drag it and attach it okay shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i can make it white so you can see here you have to just zoom it and make sure that it is properly aligned i believe this is properly aligned now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add one more shape at the bottom so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate then what i'm going to do i'm going to cut the the top part by leaving only the bottom part so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size the area which is not been covered that area only i want to keep it so i'm going to select this hold the shift key select the blue rectangle under format shape merge shape you can see i'm making it subtract okay and then i'm going to give a gradient fill for this so i'm going to use only two stops one stop i can just choose any color of your choice you can see here maybe i'm just going to choose a light, this color and then i'm going to choose more darker color or any other color combination you can just choose it all right and then i'm just going to put it on the top of this and make sure that it is properly aligned and these two shapes i'm going to select and grouping this one also or you can just say make it union also all right so it's up to you if you want to do it merge or you can make it union or just group it so depending on your requirement you can choose it and then i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to use a shadow effect for that go to shape fill make it black increase the transparency okay maybe 69 70 percent or whatever and then i'm going to increase the size by holding the shift key or somewhat increase the size and then i'm just going to put it here okay let me just reduce it it has increased somewhat more i think yeah okay so and then just send this to back so you can see here you've got the shadow effect and again i'm just selecting all i'm just moving it up because i've got the space at the top so you can see here some basic design is ready so what i'm going to do is the color of this blue one also i'm going to select this and i'm going to use the format painter i'm just going to click it here all right so i got this also now once this is done it's time to add the text so go to insert text box and i'm going to just type 01 and choose some good font any good font of your choice make it bold increase the size and then i'm going to make the same color which i've chosen here so i'm just going to copy it on this all right let me just reduce the size and make sure it is center aligned and then at the bottom you can write the step also let me just move it somewhat down and then Control d to duplicate bring it here i'm going to choose the light color 
reduce the font size and I'm going to make it as a step all right and then just copy it here okay and then I'm going to add the title again press ctrl D to duplicate bring it at the center okay you can just say your title let me just expand this and then you can add some detailed text so I can just go to text box and equals lorem within brackets one and then if I want I can just keep it all also again some I'm going to give some gray color reduce the font size you can see here reduce the size and justify and I'm just going to add it here reduce further all right so you can see here uh, the design is ready now I'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl a ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it so just add it the next to this one okay again ctrl d ctrl d now if i want i can give more spaces also here i want to just move this one and then hold the shift key select one by one and then go to the shape format align distribute horizontally all right and then it's very easy for me i can just simply go here make it two this one three this is four and then depending on your requirement you can just change the color for example i'm going to give some different color combination you can see here a purple dark purple with maybe a light pink you know this also looks good let me just ungroup this first of all all right and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this go to home format painter click on this all right and then based on the color i have to just change the font okay and here this will be purple this also will be purple okay so like this you can just change some different color combinations as per your requirement and you can just give some basic animation to it